This unusual shrub is butcher's broom, sometimes called knee holly, because it grows sort of height. When you're walking through it, it gets your knees with their very sharp spines to it. It's mostly confined to southern England, but has now been spreading north into Scotland. Parts of it are even edible. This small spike here, new growth this year, apparently tastes like asparagus. It has red berries, but those are, you'd be unwise to eat them. Its great peculiarity, and it's practically unique in Britain for this, is that the apparent leaves are not leaves at all, they're extensions of the stem. This makes it very prickly because they're, they're hard, the points are very sharp. So it's an evergreen, and this of course prevents or reduces the chance of animals grazing on anything but the young growth. It has practically no leaves whatsoever, and it does have flowers. These are very small and arise from the in between these cladodes, that's the name for these prickly structures. When you look at the leaf's appearance, the appearance of the flower, amazingly it turns out to be a member of the lily family. Flowers are visible here. Not much colour to them at all, but they do have the structure of a lily flower. In the native range, Butcher's Broom is our ancient woodland indicator. The name Butcher's Broom comes from the fact they were made into brushes and used for cleaning the, the butcher's slab. It's also said that the juices from the plant should be used to dissolve the fat that would be, would be present on the butcher's slab. Apart from being spread by the seeds, which are carried by birds, you also have underground runners, which allows them to extend out to form very dense thickets.